I'd like to introduce myself to you. Uh, my name is Jacobina Ulle. I was born in the Netherlands and I also had my education at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in The Hague, uh, of course, the Netherlands. I came to the United States uh, in 2095 and became a US citizen eight years later. I like to teach. I have been a teacher all along. I would almost say 50 years because I also was a professor at the academy where I studied. Today I am passionate about drawing because all the other stuff, if you want to become an artist, you can learn yourself and create your own handwriting and have your own authenticity. But the basics in visual art have been a little bit overlooked. And that's where I come in. Learning to draw is not about drawing, it's about mindset, it's about how we perceive the world, how we can look at things and how we can make make sense of the world basically. To observe something honesty, honestly is um, has a lot of benefits and it's difficult to learn how to draw, I get that. But when you have a, a kind of difficulty in your task, you also can get in the flow. And the flow is something that we actually really want. It brings us happiness. All of this I'm going to explain more during my classes, um, but let me show you a little bit first what I have done in my life ever since I left the Royal Academy of Fine Arts. And then we're going to talk about you, because learning to draw is the basis of all visual art, and this is about you and how you're going to achieve that. I've done many th different things in the fields of the visual arts, from photography to really large-scale murals, but I always kept a sketchbook. Some are rough sketches and some are detailed pen and ink sketches. Some are from Florida, some are from Paris. I travel with super small sketchbooks, with pencil, pen and ink, uh, watercolor, sometimes I even use coffee or espresso. But I also like to sit at home and get some small still lifes and colored pencils to tackle whatever it is that I have in front of me. And I'm teaching this too, from very small, simple still lifes. I also love to do the really big stuff, like this mural that I painted in a courtyard in Miami. I also painted a large-scale mural for the University of Miami and when you look at it you can see that the people in it are life-size. You can look at this in my website to study it a little bit from up close or you can go to the Alumni Center in Miami, it's still there. I painted uh, commissions for people together with them to create paintings, but I also had my own style, my own series, and had exhibitions actually all over the world, in, um, in America as well as Europe. I was invited for a painting week for, uh, to come to the Netherlands where I started to paint my ancestors because it was in a place close to where I was born. And I really there started my own style, basically. And all along, I was teaching in art centers. I used the system of Betty Edwards, drawing from the right side of the brain. But most of all, I love to study figure, model drawing, up close, and observe what I really see. And that, that is really what I want for, for you, that you learn to see and to study. Now you get a little bit of an idea what I mean with once you get the basics, you can expand into drawing small still lifes with colored pencils or maintain a sketchbook 
or make big murals. It is up to you what you're going to do with now you have the skill of drawing. Uh, I am available for coaching students to get into more expensive field of drawing, but you don't have to become an artist at all. There's many benefits of drawing. For example, you can draw into old age. You can draw until you cannot move your hands anymore, basically, which is very good for your brain as well. I cannot even start mentioning all the benefits that just simply drawing has. You can make a visual notebook, which actually is a sketchbook, and um, make a series of drawings of the same subject. If you think about it, for example, if you draw a face, you think, or one part of your brain thinks, uh, okay, I recognize that face, I know who it is, and then move on. But if you start drawing that face, you can draw a thousand different drawings of that same face. You can add mood to it, you can change your materials. It is really endless. That's why I love this field of the visual arts so much. It is endless. You can expand it absolutely into a way that you want. So please become part of our community. And uh, don't think that because you recognize something that you know what the thing is. Unless you draw something, you know what the thing is. I truly hope to see you in one of my classes very soon.